Oh, dear, my system is out of order. No one understands my case. You don't know what I suffer, moaned Henry. Rubbish, said Thomas. You're too fat. You need exercise. <laughs> then Henry came by, hissing as usual. <laughs> when Percy... <laughs> peep, peep! He whistled in horror for rushing straight towards him was Gordon with the Express. Oh, groaned Gordon. Get out of my way! <laughs> Take him away, he bellowed, and stop that noise! <laughs> Is it electric? asked Bridget. Hoosh! hissed Toby. <laughs> electric indeed. Electric indeed, he snorted. Sometimes, he thought, it's really tiring to be such a large and splendid engine. One does have to keep up appearances, so... Trucks, said Gordon. Puh. I won't go, I won't go, grumbled Gordon. He moved slowly forward to jam the table, but he couldn't stop himself and slithered into a ditch. Ooh, she hissed. Get me out! Get me out! <laughs> well, well, anyway, uh, Huff Thomas, blue is the only colour for, for a really useful engine. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Moo! He realized that he had no driver. What shall I do? I can't stop. Help! Help! We're coming. We're coming, called Edward. Rubbish. Silence! Snap the fat controller. I say, Toby, that Harold, that stuck-up whirlybird thing, says I'm slow and out of date. Just let him wait. I'll show him. He collected his trucks and started off, still fuming. Stop! Stop! Shrieked Danny and Claravel. But Thomas, with plenty of steam, kept on going. The alarm went out down the line. Stop the runaway! He didn't know that the foundations of the quay had sunk. The rails now sloped downward to the sea. Stupid board, said Percy. Go on, go on, they yelled, and bumped Percy's driver and fireman off the footplate. Oh, said Percy, sliding past the board. Percy was frantic. That's enough. Good morning, purred Diesel in an oily voice. Pleased to meet you, Duck. Is that James and Henry and Gordon too? I am delighted to meet such famous engines. We Diesels don't need to learn. We know everything. We come to a yard and improve it. We are revolutionary. Oh, said Duck. If you're Revo Thinger Gummy, pull, push, backwards, forward, oh, oh. The trucks groan. Diesel lost patience. He roared, gave a great heave. The trucks get forward. Oh, oh. They screamed. <laughs> Chuckle duck. <laughs> Growled Diesel and scuttled away to sulk in the shed. <laughs> duck called me a galloping sausage, spluttered Gordon. <laughs> hurry, Duck, hurry, said the driver. They raced through Edward's station, but the trucks were catching up. Oh, glory, look at that! 
James was just pulling out on their line from the station ahead. Any minute there could be a crash. It's up to you now, Duck, cried the driver. Duck put every ounce of weight and steam against the trucks. It's too late, Duck groaned. Do they expect me to pull that? Feeble, feeble, spluttered Daisy. Let me. Frantically trying to grip the rails, Percy slid into the yard. Peep, peep, look out. Do you mind? The fat controller would never approve, huffed Gordon. Branch lines are vulgar. Gordon was alarmed. I am Gordon. Stop, stop. Suddenly, Edward's wheels slipped fiercely. With a shrieking crack, something broke. And every year on the date of the accident, it runs again as a warning to others. Plunging into the gap. Shrieking like a lost soul. Let me in! Let me in! Wailed Percy. No, no, not by the smoke of my chimney, chim, chim. I'll chuff and I'll puff and I'll break your door in. <laughs>